how he mitigates the matchup here. This is going to be... I feel like every facet of uh, outside of kill power, Pichu does really well against D. Like, he combos him really well. He can get, beat him out in long range neutral with his projectile, but I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. If and one makes too many mistakes, uh, Zaki can hit really hard. Mm -hmm. And we see already, yeah, Boyd is trying to <laughs> trying to approach Zaki and not give him the room. DDD is a really big setup character. If you let him get his Gordo drop setups, then it's really a big benefactor for him. And now he's got himself a ledge trap here. Let's see what he's going to do. Oh, and just going to clip Zaki him at the ledge there. started so strong off the bat in this match. He's already dead. 3%. Boyd made two mistakes. Took almost 54. And Zaki just didn't let it, didn't let it slow him down. Pichu's so light. Yeah. I mean, that's one of the difficult things is that Pichu, not the greatest range. He's got the speed to be able to match against a character like DDD. But at the same time, if you make him a human error off of how you're trying to approach and not let DDD you know, get his setups like I was talking about, then all of a sudden you can kind of get blown up. You can get hit by Nair. You can get caught in air to air with a big hammer in the way and wow just so Zaki, safe on that yeah Zaki spacing on that back air was Christine he hit the shield perfectly he drifted back with the Gordo oh my god the shield so low Zaki's setups are very terrifying right now Boyd is trying to make it happen but he's getting two frame of the down tilt another one 35% this is going to be a commanding first game from Zaki yeah what's going on here mm -hmm. this guy's I mean looking so <laughs> clean breaks off the air dodge down throw Nair, 31 is actually huge for Zaki because Pichu's so light, man. 70% mm -hmm. yeah, could die to anything. I mean, in oh, general, oh. It just it's supposed to be difficult to oh, hit a character like Pichu because of how small they are. Oh my god, this is so scary. Gonna get that grab. Look like a grab from a million miles away. Oh, gonna my get goodness, caught from despite. down below. Not gonna catch, but He's still gets that ledge trap. Anything right now. We're Zaki about to is see. <laughs> on point, 100% right here. Are we about to see a freshman 40? No, not quite. Gonna get that opportunity, but Boyd is in a really bad spot. Pretty much has to play perfectly if he wants to be able to take this game. But that's a big start. Falling up there into the thunder, and of course it will send you in the direction. Peach is facing great turnaround from Boyd to be able to take that stock. Yeah, but the, the way Zaki spaces, he just knows that Pichu doesn't have the best range and has to commit to the Thunder Drill to really uh, oppress him from far away. But the jab <laughs> killing Pichu lighting up to be susceptible to that. That was incredible. Jab being so fast in this game that can lead to a kill is actually really good for Zaki. Yeah. Uh, it, it, one, uh, I don't think know any other characters that can do that except for Bowser Jr. Yeah. at the ledge, really. So that's a really big tool, especially against a character as light as Pichu. And I was saying before is that Pichu's hurtbox is so small. That's usually the, the big thing that makes her such a difficult character to hit. But DDD's hitboxes they're last huge. for a really last time, last for a really long time, and they're huge. Like you said, that back air, neutral air covers such a wide range. It just looks like a very nice uh, plate for Zaki to deal with. Uh, incredible, incredible first start. Now uh, this would be a huge upset for Zaki, but he's like not stranger to upsets. Like you said before, <laughs> this guy took out MK Leo and winners at Hyrule Saga, the character that everyone thought was completely useless against Cloud. So I don't know, man. Boy's gonna have to adapt hard. That was a super dominating display from Zaki. I really didn't see him get started on his combos. Uh, every time he tried to approach, Zaki would just right outside of range and punch them really hard. All right, the jacket's coming oh, yeah. off. Oh, yeah, jacket's coming <laughs> off in game two. Piccolo's taking off his armor. <laughs> we got to see what, what comes next. Still sticking with the Pichu. Probably doesn't want to think about using another character. Maybe now that he knows how Zaki's oh, going to yeah. play, adjust to that accordingly. And we're going to even smaller stage. I think he wants to try and suffocate Zaki even more, not give him any room to really set up like before. But he's still keeping things a, a little bit uh, more respectful this time around on this first game. Or second game, excuse me. All right, boys, just playing it patiently, seeing how he can safely approach Zaki. Doesn't want to overextend and take tons of punishment. I really do want to see Boyd go for like, these down airs. Like, anything to get an earlier stock. Because Zaki's so heavy, he's going to live a lot of things. Oh, not quite. I think he tried to do a both double whammy of uh, swallowing the Gordo to shoot it back out or something. <laughs> going to catch him in the air with that thunder. Right, trying to force the jumps here. Nice. Gets the high recovery. Where's Zaki going to go here? The Thunder Drill again. Just cover as much space as possible. Off stage. Nice covers in there. And the Thunder Spike doesn't even need the second hit. Covers that huge body of, uh, of DDD. And that's exactly what Void needs. Like, anything that can lead to a spike to get rid of DDD stock earlier than having to rely on like maybe like an F Smash or something like that. Really going to work in his favor. So now that he has a stock lead, Zaki kind of forced to approach a little bit. And DDD's approach out on a character like Pichu are not the best. Mm -hmm. And we see Void, you know, like I said before, just keeping up his respect and uh, just trying to 
find him in a space that is difficult for Ozaki to occupy, and then just going from there. Let's trap so this is where Ozaki was doing really well on that last game. Let's see how he starts it and goes oh, underneath, but a big SD. Underneath the stage. I kinda expected Wood to stall with the thunder there while he's in the middle of the stage, maybe make it a little easier to recover, but unfortunately SD's there still in a pretty good spot. Ozaki at the ledge. Plans with the grab there. Ozaki can get back to center stage safely. No down tilt out of shield. Boyd is picking his spots really carefully here. No Thunder Spike either, but at the ledge, no trap. Yo, nice! The Gordo into the grab. 33%. Very nice stuff. All right, he's got to figure out his way to make it back to the stage. That neutral has been covering so well, but finally going to find a roll. And actually, Spot Dodge just threw that setup after the Thunder Jolt. Zaki's got a big opportunity now, returning back to neutral. Oh, I love how he uses the Gordo to just bounce on the stage and then run behind it, so he hits a little bit of better ways to approach. He kind of forced his shield or commit to some option to avoid the Gordo, and that's where he makes his opportunity to get next to you. Yeah. It looks like Void is trying oh. to wait out Zaki's aerial first before trying to intercept and before it comes out. So, good job from Void being able to adapt and I'm adjust. Up the drifts back to the ledge. Really good recovery from Zaki. Waiting on an air dodge here. Not going to commit to the thunder. Yeah, try to wait out a air dodge or something like that. Try to get that spike. Not quite though. But let's see what he does right here. The F is going to be able to do it. Covering the neutral get up. Such a strong, quick kill option from Pichu. One of the best moves in the game. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I like that. The, he didn't have room in the corner, so he just decided to use his double jump commit to it, and it worked out for him. Going to be able to retain back that control. The Gordo's there. But yeah, of course, the <laughs> Gordo can't be hit back. It has a very low uh, percent uh, deficiency that it needs to be able to be hit back, and I think Thunder Jolt should be able to cover that. I'm spending the Nair up there. Prediction come out from Zaki. He's swinging a lot of heavy moves to get this Dakai to avoid. Again, just picking his uh, moves very carefully, very safely. Not overextending at all in this situation. Pick him back up with the down tilt. Big combo going to start for Void. And going to set up with the Thunder. Not quite going to get the kill yet, but a really good position for him to be in. Nice. Safely poking the shield with the tilt. Doesn't get the drift in. But the up smash <laughs> timing. Beautiful. Gets the up smash out before the down smash can do anything and really converts it into the Thunder. Nice adjustment for Void. Two stocks. Really just took him slowing down the game. Not trying to rush in and blow Zaki up and run into his hitboxes and just shut him down that way. Mm -hmm. And I really do think that's the best uh, the best course of action against a player like Zaki. Just because he's so good at playing defensively and punishing you for overextending and getting like tons of damage. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. Uh, I, just, I mean, I just feel like DDD is a wall, you know? So the, the either way you can do it is either stop the construction workers before they build up the wall. Or you just uh, wait out for the wall to eventually crumble uh, out of uh, age. So that time around, he waited it out. The first game, he was trying to stop everyone from building up the wall, but that time is working out nicely. And Void, not blinking, <laughs> like we've seen him do at some big majors. So we're going back to PS2, though. We got a lot more space for Zaki to work with than on Smashville. Okay, yep, yeah, back on PS2. I'm curious what uh, what's going to do to change up, because that first PS2 game was heavily in Zaki's favor. Doing most of the same thing, just waiting out oh, how Zaki's gonna land and how, when he throws out those arrows, yeah, he's being a lot more patient. If he tried to go in and go hard on Zaki again in the air to air, he probably would have been clipped by that back air. So, nice. Boyd making the right adjustments. Great follow up there, Boyd. Another big combo coming out. Cards landing with the Thunder Jolt, not letting him approach. Doesn't get the jab lock set up, but again, Zaki's just trying to make something happen. Boyd's waiting patiently. Ooh, great. Okay. That was a big opportunity. I think he's trying to elicit a reaction, see if he's willing to go high even after the Thunder kill on that second game. But now we got another opportunity here for Void. Trying to find that less trap. Oh, but the spot dash comes through. That Keeps up that control. Again. Nice timing. Oh, we'll get sit under the stage. The armor of the UB making it safe. Put that back here. Big hit. Super far off stage here. Nice intercepts the side B with the F2. Okay. And the ledge again. Drifts back perfectly on the Gordo. Catches the ledge jump. <laughs> And Zaki using that big body to stay alive and get the stock from Void. Mm -hmm. And of course, Zaki will never fail to impress the crowd. But a quick up throw to Thunder. SoCal's got to remember where we are and who they got to <laughs> cheer for is SoCal. This is the number one player in SoCal, so a lot of people here don't want to see him lose this right here. And also just a fan favorite in general. Like, loved by a lot of people in the Smash community all over. Mm -hmm. And of course, Zaki, of course, a low-tier hero. Who doesn't like a good low-tier hero in this game? Tries to get another spike with Zaki. Just barely able to avoid that. Still keeping out the pressure. Trying to read out that defensive option. Just base it out with the Thunder Joe. And he's keeping out the pressure. Oh, but he goes a little bit too low. Oh, it was so risky going that low. Especially when the Gordo was right there. 
Air dash through everything. It's the up to the time here to trap the Gordo. <gasps> it covers it with the down smash. What a hit confirm from Zach. Just waiting for the Gordo to connect. And through his time, uh, timing on his down smash perfectly. Yeah, such good positioning on that Gordo. Oh Boy just got caught up and didn't know where to go. And he just went inward. Oh. And the down smash was able to cover it too. And now just still tacking on the damage. Zaki, man. When he has the stock lead and he has momentum, he's so scary. Because you want to make, approach and get off the stock off of him. And once you overtake, he punches so hard. Just one hit leads to another. And next thing you know, that little tiny Pichu is halfway at death percent. Yeah. 200% already for DD. <laughs> Looking like it's going to be surviving for a pretty long time. But the ledge, ledge re-grab? Is that going to be yeah. up to Yes, it will. Difficult for a character like DD to get back around that. He's kind of committed after that up air. Boy's trying to make something happen. Oh, the neutral air <laughs> completely negating the Thunder Jolt there. Interesting. Oh, the <gasps> roll. Oh, oh, oh my, my god. god. <laughs> Steel was tinier than the Eminem. That was like... <laughs> A peanut side, that was crazy. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was the single peanut that you get out of an M&M. That was crazy, yeah. 92%, I mean, one big hit. Or get Gordo set up, Gordo drop. That might be able to take it, but boy, still oh, keeping yeah. up the damage, tacking up. Play so carefully. The next big hit, really good for Zaki, but the jab lock set up doesn't get a huge combo, but he's slowly but surely making his way back into this game. Mm -hmm. He knows the aftermatch won't kill, so he opted for the down tilt combo instead. Oh, just a Gordo to the face, though. High That's recovery. Fine. Is he going to be oh. able to catch him? No, he just air dodges through, but still clips oh him with the back God. air. Clips so, on the Thunder Jolt, too. Yeah, glad you mentioned the Thunder Jolt. The Thunder Jolt actually extended the hitbox in range of that back air. Already a really powerful and uh, good range move on its own, but the Thunder Jolt timing there for Void was just not in his favor. Zaki able to intercept it perfectly and hit the back air going up in the set 2-1 with this incredible DD play. I'm at a loss for words, man. <laughs> I, I, th I feel like the next time he has to ban PS2 if Void wins I, his next I match, know, dude. I know, and he's been so consistent on PS2. Letting him go back there, probably not in the, the best choices for Void here, but now we have FD. I know Zaki cover well on the stage. A lot of Japanese players do love this stage, FD, just because it just moves the platforms around heavily, mainly on just neutral exchange between the opponents. Yeah. But uh, this is a great stage for Pichu. He's going to have more room to just kind of play that slow game, not really uh, have to worry about approaching DD too much and if he throws the Gordos from like a decent distance on the stage you can throw them back at him really easily with the Thunder Jolt. Yeah and I, I'm not so sure how often uh, or if Japan has changed their rule set since I last saw it but I know it, it was like game one Battlefield, game two FD, game three Pokemon Stadium so that might be a big benefactor for Zaki because he's got a lot of practice on this stage and already 79% on the void. Oh, Zaki is so Scary right now. Being in a position like this against DD is so hard for Pichu because the next big hit is already your stock. Yeah. I mean, Zaki is so good at making Void think that he has the opportunity to extend himself, be able to get something going, but then he just gets a quick run back here. I mean, DD's speed isn't the best in this game, but somehow he makes it work against a character like Pichu who should be blowing him up in all aspects. Yeah, it's really incredible. That buff on, you know, everyone's landing lag on aerials just really helps DD throw out these uh, really strong moves much safer than he did before. Landing with an air, yeah, he's just spacing out the back air. Void is respecting it, doesn't want to extend himself, lose the lead again. Yeah, and he's just, yeah, staying right jet outside hammer? of that back air range. <laughs> oh, man. If we see something with the jet hammer, I'm actually going to leave my seat. <laughs> <laughs> not quite able to find it this time around, so Stryze is going to stick around. Oh, oh but another Gordo. Thunder Joe was not able to throw it back in his face. This is the Gordo. Oh, my goodness. He's so scary at the ledge. The down tilt catches Void dashing it preemptively. And now Zaki again with the stock lead. He's so scary in this position. Void has to approach. And if he makes one mistake, it's a big punishment from Zaki. Just dashing oh. back and forth. Trying to figure out how Void wants to get in. Just goes in with the dare and the down smash. And gets the down smash. Great answer from Void. Only taking 4% that game. Zaki put William to the corner a little bit. Controlling the ground really well with these dash chances, making Void a little bit hesitant because he saw before he was able to get a quick dash back into the back air. And you know that the Void is trying to look out and scout out for that. Not quite working out in his favor so far. But going to get a big down throw combo. Just going to get the juggles into the fair, get that stage control. Nice, covers the jump from the ledge, keeping up the cut forward with the Thunder Jolt. Oh, it looked like he held up shield. I don't know if he just dropped it a little bit too early for a parry or what, but he's going to get clipped there. Try to get a cross up, not quite, and Zaki still now keeping he has the control. The ledge trap. Ooh, that Gordo was so scary. <laughs> you just gotta be careful. If you can get the right timing on the roll, you can avoid the Gordo, but sometimes uh, the they're, DDD will be yeah, there to they're, cover. They're waiting for the roll, and they maybe get like a down smash or something else crazy. <laughs> not quite gonna be able to find the right setup, though. Oh, reads the air dodge. Back outside. Void has a big opportunity, waits out the thunder, and gets nice. its opportunity, Landing and another down smash. The down smash. Goes low. 
Zaki with the down smash, no tech, no. It's out of there, throws the neutral out. Okay. Scary spot on the ledge again. Ooh. Just passing, but big boy DD still living that heavy F tilt. Going so low off the stage. Where is Zaki going to go up and through the ledge? Oh, man, he's barely living. Yeah, Void was looking for that F tilt last time, and uh, Zaki Ooh. was not able to get the up air the first time around. Second time, it did work out, but Void's still going to get that first stock. Yeah, I think that up throw thunder range is much bigger on DD due to his weight class, so that's really good for Boyd to be able to still use that at high percent. Because otherwise, he's really going to be struggling to get these kills. Yeah, the, hot, the crowd is getting hyped in the back. They're both on both sides. People want both of these two to win. Of course, SoCal, our boy, and at the same time, Zaki, the invader from Japan. But right now, Boyd is going to get a really big combo here. Great no tech chase, though. There. Yeah. Gonna send them off. Zaki again in position where he can get a stock. The skull bash clicking with the Gordo. Tries to get back up. Oh, nice the timing attack. of the get up attack. Beats off the up tilt. Much more uh, instability on get up attacks in this game. Sweep the up tilt. Not gonna get the down he's looking for. Yo, man, that, that, that killed from almost cross stage. That was crazy. Is Zaki Tech chase here? Get the stock by right now. He has the opportunity to just close it out here. But boy, it looks like he does not want to let up. Already taking him to 116%. Pichu's got the kill power to be able to take out this Penguin. Nice facing on the F2. Max Range is going to go for the back throw. He's definitely out of there. 116%. Zaki's last stock. Don't want to give him any room to breathe and make a comeback. Boy shuts it down immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the sigh of relief from Boyd? I was like, I'm so, <laughs> I feel I'm like so <laughs> glad that works on DD has such a high percent. Like, he <laughs> needs that, man. Yeah, I feel like he looks more psyched out than he was at Genesis. Like, Genesis, he was at full focus, but I feel like Zaki, especially after that first game, just kind of pushing Boyd to his limit here. And Zaki, like, he, he's a player you just don't want to sleep on, man. He uses such an like, underrepresented character and plays him so masterfully that you think that you have the matchup advantage just because of the nature of the character choice, but you have to figure out the player himself. Yeah, I mean the difficult part is if you don't know the matchup or you haven't played someone at a high level then uh, with a certain matchup, then you just gotta adapt on the fly. Yeah. Boyd's been doing exactly that, but I gotta admit that it must be <laughs> mentally it, oh, exhausting. It has to be. So definitely great on Boyd to keep himself in this game, bring it to a game five. And now we have Town and City for the final game of the set. First time showing up in the set so far. Let's see what how Boyd utilized these platforms. Yeah. to uh, get around DDD. Mm -hmm. I feel like hopefully he banned PS2 this time around. Oh, so yeah. he went to Town and City instead. That's usually the second pick that everyone likes to go to if Pokemon Stadium is not available. Ooh, the Nair just combo breaks really easily. Now this is Zaki's counter pick, so I'm curious how he's going to use the platform to get around the spacing. But oh my goodness, drags him <laughs> all the way to the bottom of the stage. That Thunder Snipe was like the farthest I've ever seen that spike from. He literally dragged DDD from mid <laughs> Side of the last one to the bottom. That was crazy. Yeah, for a second I thought Boyd was gonna SD yeah. because of it because he was so low, but man, he was still able to make it back and he killed DD at ridiculously early percent. And wow, the platform right there. I'm pretty sure Boyd probably knew it was coming and then he was able to land himself perfectly on that. All right, big hit of the Gordo. Nice, Thunder Jolts him right back off the stage. Okay. Guess that oh, forward man. tilt. Oh, on the gonna, other side. Yeah, cross up through. DDD still able to make it th back there though, but he's got the Thunder Drill pressure now with that platform assisting him to be able to make it back. We're staying alive here, throwing the Gordos right back to his face again. Big back air though. 48%. Boy, not trying to let Zaki get any momentum here. Send himself off the stage. Oh my goodness. Don't want to see an SD so early in stock. Boy, gotta know. be careful. Yeah, it's gotta, that would be heartbreaking, especially in a game five scenario, but here we go. The Les Traps. Gonna get pick him up with the up tilt up airs into the thunder, but the air dodge comes through. Still gets a lot of damage packed onto Zaki for okay. it. There's the inhale. Would love to see Zaki use that a little bit more since it is a command grab that you can't shield. No tech though. Just the tech chase. Up throw. Waits out the air dodge. Perfect from Void. All Bait right. that out perfectly. Got the early stock again. Only taking 42%. Zaki has to make something happen here. You can't kill Pichu really early percent, but it requires a big play here. The boy's been playing really patiently around the Gordo setups. Oh, just actually clips him before the back air even comes out. Gordo stick. Gonna assist him just a little bit. Yeah, just hit it. He's basically been hitting him out of hit stun to be able to either just get him off him, but nothing really setting up for Zaki so far. Just kind of having to play Void's oh, game and just clips nice. on the F smash and Void. F smash catches the up B. Zaki's going to get sent to the loser bracket, but amazing game five. Had Void kind of shook, man. Like, I, I gotta be honest. That was looking really great for Zaki, but Void with the adjustments, clutching out game five and moving on in this winner's bracket. Yeah. Well, we have uh, more Zaki.